Good morning, girls. It's going to be a quick uh, look today because Renee and Brenda are going to be here. I've already got all my skincare on. And uh, I did not use primer. I'm going to see if I really need a primer with all the stuff I put on my face. Because look, my face is already shiny. And let's make sure this is... Did you girls see the picture of my great-grandbaby? I think she has my eyes. She's got those big old eyes trying to see everything that goes on. Just like her granny. She's going to be nosy. Oh, is that a hair? Eight o'clock. What happened? It broke. Well, I was barely touching it. This is Believe Beauty, but this is really good. I had this one time before. And I loved it. And it was when Believe Beauty first came out. And all the shelves were stocked at my at my Dollar General. And I don't believe they've been stocked since. But thank God. When, you girls sent me this. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's still not right. What's going on with you? Well, I'll see what's going on. The side over here has got more white eyelashes than the other side. I don't know if I can do my lips the same as I did yesterday, girls, but I'm going to try. Because you know my memory's not very good. We're going to be using, um, no, we're not using that one. We're going to be using Milani. The Milani Gilded Mini. And, uh, mm -hmm. the 120, it's all rose. That's pretty. I think that's the one we're going to use. We're going to use this. And I did not go and buy me a new um, curling iron yesterday. I did not feel like it. I tried to fix that. I tried to fix that other one. But have you ever seen screws that doesn't take a screwdriver, not a Phillips or a standard? These screws just had a little hole. Nothing. So I tried, and I, um, I couldn't fix it. And I was starting to get a little upset, so. I thought about the Gorilla Glue and, and all that stuff. I knew that wouldn't work. Not on that. So I had to throw it in the trash. And then, I went to buy a new one on Amazon. Well, I couldn't figure out what size I needed. I thought you just, it was the roundness of the barrel that you would measure. No, girls. You have to take the size of that barrel and then divide it by 3.4. Well, I was totally confused. Even after I got my measuring tape out, And my calculator, I could not figure it out. So, we only have straight hair for a few days. I went in and I looked at what people said about it. From uh, medium to long hair, that's the one I got. I think it's an inch and a half. 
Now see, I was thinking this big old thing here was about an inch and a half, but no. I have no idea, I'm still lost. I don't know why they have to complicate things. I just don't know. I didn't put anything all over my lid, I know that. So let's just pop a little of this up there, over here, wherever we can. But yeah, it's, it was, it was hard. It was too hard for me, girls. So I had, to, I had to give up or have a nervous breakdown. Yes, my little granddaughter, she's got those big eyes. I think she's got my eyes. She might not look anything else like me, but I think she's got my eyes. And that would be wonderful because nobody in my family looks like me. Well, it might be a blessing. <laughs> Um, they may be blessed. I don't know. Let's put something in the outer corner. Let's do the crease. Oh, shoot, there's no crease color in here. Well, I'm not using that. There is just no way well, I'm putting a lighter color in my crease. I wonder what that would look like. I'll try it someday when y'all aren't watching. Okay, I'm going to put purple. You know I am. I'm going to put purple in my crease. I always think, oh, I just love this street. It's so quiet. And yesterday, I guess these people next door have kids. And uh, I was sitting there read, reading my Bible. And, well, you know what? I could hear the birds chirping out there. And then I just kept hearing this strange noise, a dragon noise. So I looked outside, and there was a kid out there, a little boy on the skateboard. Pretty soon, I don't know where these kids came from. They were all outside just laughing and playing, and, and I was just smiling. It felt so good. We do need kids around, girls. It brings back memories. I remember when my son was young and I was single. And of course, I didn't have any money. And uh, skateboards had just come out. Well, everybody had one but my son. Girls, I dug in the car and the house and everything, wherever I dumped my change, everything. And I went and got, I went to Cornet and bought him a skateboard. He was so happy. Let's put some of that right here. Well, that's not very smooth. But yes, he's so happy with that skateboard. But I was determined. I probably would have been a shoplifter that day if I hadn't found enough money. <laughs> I'll just go steal him a skateboard. How about that? But he's going to have one. Okay, so. I'll have that pretty yellow in there. But um, we did yellow one day, and it was kind of pretty, wasn't it? Should we do it now?
with glue. It says Sunday fun day. We'll do this on Sunday. <laughs> Sunday we'll do it. What we're going to do. Oh, we're going to do I like butter. I like butter. And I really do. I could eat butter. But I'm not going to. In fact, I use real butter. And um, I keep it sitting on the kitchen counter during the day. Well, I threw all my butter out. I don't eat butter anymore. Now, if I could just throw my mayonnaise out. But I can't. I'll have to have that mayonnaise. But I don't have any butter. I used to take butter and carol syrup and mix them together and eat it like it was going out of style tomorrow. I'd eat it with bread. Yes, I loved it. But I can't have it anymore. Okay, that was Milani Luster Light. And, oh, is that is that just the name of it? Is that really just the name? I think it is. Yes. Luster Lights. This was a gift. And I love it. I absolutely love all this. And this one, this one I bought. And it's Gilded Mini. Milani Gilded Mini. And it's, it's all rose. I used those two palettes. Now we're going to blend. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Anyway, there's no telling what, what size of curling iron I'm really going to end up with. And I got that stuff on my lips. There's a hair. I don't know where it is. But I don't want to get it. It's still there. Mm. Did I get it? Oh, my God. Thank God. I can't stand I can't stand it. And then I watched... I was looking for videos on how to line your lips. Well, almost everybody has had the big lip. They already had a lip. Finally, I found one girl. She was young. And she didn't have a top lip. And she didn't even have a Cupid's bow. But by the time she was through, she had herself a lip. And she looked good, too. And everybody that was commenting to her was saying, finally, somebody with no lip. Because most people do have, especially the young girls, they do have a big, bigger lip. I had a bigger lip when I was young. I had big lips when I was young. I mean, Sandra was talking about it yesterday. I think she really is going to Maine. My sister. I do not want her to go. That's 2,000 miles away. Well, California's only 1,300 miles. I might have to move to Maine. I remember us when we were growing well, See, Sandra lived with my grandmother for years before she came to live back with us. 
And all that time, it was just me and Donna just doing whatever in the world we wanted to do because my mother was at work. And I really was not old enough to take care of Donna. I was only two years older. So, one time we found some, uh, we made spaghetti, SpaghettiOs, whatever it was. And um, we were playing house and we found some whiskey. Well, we took a sip of it. It was so bad we couldn't stand it. But we act like we was drunk. <laughs> we thought we were drunk. We had the best times. And we would go out. Our laundry room was outside in the carport. And we would go out there. And it had two, you know, the two sinks and all that, you know. Well, we would fill up everything that we could find with water. And we would sell it to our neighbors. Then they would buy it. <laughs> if my mother had any magazines, we would sell them as soon as she'd go to work. <laughs> we hit that street. And we'd, we'd be saying, get your fresh water. Fresh water right here. And they thought we were cute, and so they'd buy it. And then when my mother would come home to look for her magazines, well, we just tell her we sold them. We needed candy. <laughs> we needed the coke. And, you know, looking back, we would walk forever to get to the store. It was a long way to the store. And we were safe. We were absolutely safe. I wouldn't let my grandkid walk to the corner by itself. Now, when little Scarlet goes to school, if I'm still alive, I might have to go with her. But not with that dog. Because if she has that dog, she's quite safe. <laughs> Nobody's going to touch her. Especially me. I'm going nowhere near that dog again. Oh, let me tell you what Sassy did yesterday, girls. She was so cute. She ate her dry food. When she came in the living room and she was just looking at me like, I need a snack. So I went in there and I saw, well, yeah, she did. She ate all that dry food. So I said, oh, sassy, you need a snack. And she started doing all this and that, getting down on the floor. And when I went towards that table where the Vienna sausages are, she was a happy girl. She was happy. But I told her, that's just a treat now, Sassy. You, we're not getting you back on that. Not only was it not good for her, it wasn't good for me either. Because she always had runny bells. And she doesn't now. But she does need to be groomed. I have to wait a couple of weeks, girls, because, you know, her groomer's mother just died the other day, the day before Easter, Easter Eve. So I'm, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. Yes, when Sandra came to live with us, it was, well, she, we thought she was sold. She was our big sister. So we kind of, well, and we weren't afraid anymore. We lived in that house that, remember, I told you I thought it was haunted. 
in um, well, I don't know about Donna, but for some reason, when Sandra was around, I wasn't afraid of anything. Because I knew she'd protect me. To this day, I know it. My sister. This is Maybelline Sky High Black Eyelash Primer. Yes, I was never afraid of anything. When sent. Well, one thing, I knew she was mean as a snake. If she had to be, she could be mean as a snake. So I wasn't afraid of anything. Now, Donna, no. No. If anything happened <clears throat> to Donna, I would have to step in and help her. <laughs> I remember one time, um, we were grown. We had kids. Lori was a little baby. And um, not much older than a newborn. She was little. Well, Donna had been living, I guess, over there with our cousin James. I don't know how that really started out, but I think that's how it started. <clears throat> well, they got into a fight, James's wife and Donna. So I'm, so I lived in another town. I lived in Lamont, which was about 20 miles away. So I'm sitting over at my house just being a little mother. And my mother called me. And she said, um, you need to come. Because uh, Linda and her sisters has uh, got behind Donna's car and pushed her home. And I said, and Donna did what? Nothing. I said, I'll be there. I'll be right there. Now, back then, girls, I had the mouth of a, of a sailor. If you made me mad. And I was mad. So I went to my neighbor next door, Lee Swearingen. And I had her to um, watch Lori. And I took the bicycle, <clears throat> bicycle chain off of my son's bicycle. <laughs> and off I went to Arvin. Well, that's the first time I've, I'd ever met my mother's new boyfriend, who would soon be her husband. But, <clears throat> I was out of control. Don't pick on my sister. This is Elf Big Mood Mascara in Pitch Black. So, girls, I go over there, <clears throat> and I say, where are these Emmer Evers? <laughs> and I said, Donna, get in the car. And so, we got in the car. Where do they live? So we went out there, and I got out of the car with my chain. I was yelling. They lived in a two-story apartment. Get your asses down here. Come and push me. <laughs> Do you think they came out? No, they did not come out. So then Donna was moving out of their house, and I went to help. And my mom was sitting out in the car waiting for us. Well, the one thing my we, she didn't do, she did, they didn't have anything my sister wanted. She had everything. And uh, this one came in the kitchen, the big fat one. And uh, she got on the phone. I don't know who she called. I, I, I don't have a clue who she called. She said, they're stealing everything in this house. And I said, you need to get off of that phone. 
And then she started, I said, look, bitch, I didn't come over here to talk to you. I couldn't get a piece of your ass. <laughs> well, they called the cops on me. <laughs> this is a Pixie Corrector and Brightening Peach. Well, so the cop that came out, well, I knew him all my life. I was from Harvard, small town. And I said, just go and park around the corner for a few minutes and give me a little time and then come back. No, Judy. You got to get in your car and leave. So I said, okay. So he got in his car, I got in mine, and he got around the corner, and I backed it back up. Well, he caught me. He knew what I was going to do. This is a one size in Fair 3. This is really good. Well, all that stuff is really good. Anyway, it'll all be listed below. So they ran me out of our Judy, you got to leave town. Go back to Lamont and stay there and don't come back. Because if you do, we're going to have to arrest you. So, oh, God. I can't help her no more. I don't know why my mother didn't get out of the car and help her. She's supposed to be so tough. But she didn't. I guess she trusted I'd handle the situation. But Donna got her stuff, I'll tell you that right now. Now, I don't think I need, um, I really don't think I need primer. My forehead is shining. Okay, that's that. All right, now we're going to, I'm going to use this. This is Natasha Denona Alloy Cheek Duo. Bronze and Glow palette. Well, has it got a color? Let me see if it has a color. It's probably dark. No, it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. Well, we're going to give it a shot. Anyway, she got her. Girls, I'll be so happy when they call me back to the dentist. I'm about to die. No. Mm -hmm. We have not put on any foundation. See, my face is shiny, so I, I'm not thinking about foundation. We're going to use the Revlon Illuminance Foundation in Cool Beige. Anyway, so I didn't get to do what I wanted to do. Well, I didn't really want to do it. But I never really wanted to fight anybody. In fact, I was a little afraid at first. But then, you know, I got used to it. <laughs> but I didn't want anybody to pick on my sister. And I did not let them pick on my sister. And if she hadn't been afraid of them, they wouldn't pick on her. Because they were cowards. They did not come out. They did not throw one punch at me when I was in there cussing them out. <laughs> and they did call the cops because they needed help. We don't know what we got going on here with Judy. We knew we had it with Donna, but we don't know about Judy. She's a little different. She might kick our butts. Yes, if you pick on my sister, I will. I still would. We don't get along that well. We'd get along, but we don't hardly ever talk to each other. I love her. And if anybody did anything to her, I'd be right there. I would be right there, even in my old age. Probably have to take a gun or a baseball bat. <laughs> but I would go. And 
and help her out because she's my sister. And really, I do the same thing for Shelly. Girls, uh, Shelly really broke my heart. <clears throat> she really and truly just broke my heart. Because I loved her like a daughter. But she showed me her true colors. The ones that people told me about, I said, oh, no, you're lying. Not Shelly, she wouldn't do that. Well, then people come at you with all the other stuff. Then you, you learn. Why didn't they tell me all? Because I wouldn't believe them. But then I paid attention to her. Let her do what she was doing. She was doing to me. And then when I knew I had her, I got her. And I got my money too. All of it. But, mm -mm. but what, what she really did that made me mad was she told Brenda. Now she knows Brenda comes over here every day. Almost every day. I really ripped Judy. I ripped Judy up one side and down the other. Mm -mm. I said, Brenda, you believe that? No. So I called her and I said, Shelly, I want you to do something for me. And what? I said, I want you to come over here and rip me up one side and down the other and see how fast it takes me to F you up. Well, oh, she went silent on that one. She's been silent ever since. But she does tell people that she misses me. But it's too late. I love her, and I wish her everything in the world. But I don't wish her to be my friend again, because she doesn't know what a friend is. Now we're going to put on some blush, girls. But we will be blending that out. That's a little dark. It doesn't have a color on it. And we're using the Catrice Airbrush Matte in Peach Heaven. You don't love that blush. See, now I'm going to be getting wet. Pray for me, girls. I bit my tongue again. Um... Getting back on the good trees. I love it. All right. Now we're going to blend all that together because this side's a, this side's really dark. We may have to put some more on it. Let's see how we go. Oh, it's lightening up. Okay. I had the strangest thought this morning. <clears throat> I didn't know my real father. I've seen him a few times, a couple of times, two times in my life. But, you know, I always had this, oh, I bet he's this and he's that, you know. And for some reason this morning I thought, I wonder if he's watching me from heaven, if he ever looks down. And what a stupid thought. I know my daddy is. As my daddy loved me. He loved me to death. Even when no one else did, he did. My daddy was a, a giant of a man. And he, was, he had a heart of gold. They called him the, in his obituary, it said they called him the gentle giant. He was a wonderful man. 
And really, I honestly think I was his favorite child. Even though Don was his real child. I believe he loved me the most. I'll always believe that. I wonder if he's up there with my father. They probably friends. See, I'm still trying to draw that on. Anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't ever think about um, my real father, hardly ever. But for some reason, this morning, it came to my mind. Well, I guess it's because, <clears throat> I don't know what this is. Um, I was going through my pictures yesterday. And I do have a... Uh, screenshot of his obituary. I guess that stuck in my mind. But I'll tell you the truth. My aunt called me and she said, well, Judy, your daddy passed away. I liked to die. I thought it was my stepdad. I said, oh, no, 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 no. And, um, she said, not O'Neill, but I said, oh, <laughs> how evil can you be? Oh, it was him. Well, well, we're not worried about all that. But he did try to see me when I was a kid and my mother wouldn't let him. She was kind of like Shelly. She was vindictive. I keep thinking that Shelly will try to get me. Okay, now what do we do? Let's calm down and think about this lip. Okay, we wiped it off. Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I remember. Okay, the main thing I was doing wrong was right here. Let's see, we gotta round this off. Uh oh, Judy. Okay. Make a little little thing right there. See, I have a real sharp, uh, I have a real sharp cupid's bow. I'm trying to cover it up a little bit. I think that's better. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, now let's just feather it down. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Do the same on the bottom. Oh, 
Okay. See, that's when I shake. It's when I'm trying to do something I'm not sure of. And that's when all that starts happening. I'm going to use this NARS. Since I finally found a pencil sharpener that would sharpen it. All right. Is that brand up now? Let me get closer. I can't see. Ooh. That's good enough. Actually, it's pretty good, except for that. Whatever that is, it looks like a piece of skin. My, pa my face peels all the time. This is NARS Dolce Vita Velvet Matte Lipstick, Lick, Lip Pencil. Okay, now let me tell you what that other woman did. I might as well do it. <clears throat> she did her lips. Oh, God. And then she popped a little piece of, um, no, first off, she put a lighter color. <clears throat> I think I sleep with my mouth open. I'm pretty sure. She put a lighter, that's not lighter, is it? Well, it is. Barely. So she put that on. And then she took her concealer. And she just put a dot right there. Good thinking, girl, whoever you are. And then she put her gloss on. My top lip doesn't look as big as it did yesterday. Well, it's too late. Oh, it's too late now. Let's look. Okay. Girls, I'm just not one for the overlining. I got too many smokers' wrinkles. It looked better yesterday, but it's all right today. <clears throat> Let's powder. <coughs> My throat hurts. I don't know what's going on. What is going on with this? I like that lipstick. But I really do did like my lips better yesterday. Okay, there we go. I did the powder all wrong. That is not what I saw when I was doing my research and I threw my paper away. My notes. Okay, and I forgot to use this, so I'm probably going to have feathering. 
this, this really does work. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to list them. Maybe I can just stick some on top. Let's show it now. Now I got that. And you know what? I saw a little saying yesterday in the Bible. Well, I'm not sure how it went. But love will kill hate. Hate, love is stronger than hate. So don't hate nobody. It feels so much better when you don't hate. And that's on you when you hate. I don't hate anybody. And I don't think I have any enemies either. No. Not that I know of. But maybe she'll like. <laughs> I have heard tell that Shelly has been calling me the B word. The old B word. She won't say it to my face, so I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know what that is. Oh, now I do. It really, it really is skin. Anyway. Okay, girls, I'm done. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, when Renee gets here, we're having a little Bible study because she found out some more information about that guy I told you about in the Bible. McKislinek. That he wasn't born and he didn't die and he had no mother and he had no father. But he was a high priest and he was alive in Genesis and he was alive in Hebrews. I'm trying to figure out where he came from and just what he was. Because he was like a spirit. He was like, he was like Jesus. But he was here when Jesus was born. So, I don't know. Anyway, Renee said she found some more out about him. So, we're going to get to study it when she gets here. Okay, girls. I love you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I'll see you tomorrow.